What's up, guys? I'm just going to do a little vid here on... I got this on Amazon. What is it is today? Today is Thursday, Wednesday. I ordered this on Monday. It was the Amazon deal of the day. <clears throat> so I got this in less than two days. Or maybe two days, but I think I ordered it late at night. So I kind of always check Amazon, you know. But I saw this as the deal of the day. And again, I don't need it, but I wanted it. Um, I'm not in uh, Bosch's 12-volt uh, platform. I have uh, Milwaukee and uh, Makita. But, you know, I'm a big Bosch guy now. You know, I did a couple reviews on my uh, Bosch um, socket-ready impact driver. One of the best tools I've ever owned. I wasn't too happy with their um, their regular drill. They were compact, tough drill. Not that it was bad. I just didn't like the way it fit in my hand and everything. But, you know, a drill is a drill. I haven't put it through the ringer yet. Uh, I'm going to have some videos coming up on a, a fire rack uh, that I built. And I used two spe specific uh, tools, two specific Makita tools just for the whole project. I'm pretty much finishing it up now. I just got to do the roof. But those vids will be up shortly. And I'll do a little thing at the end on, you know, how I liked each tool. But believe it or not, both of my Makitas, I did a, I used a 12 volt drill, um, the Makita 12 volt drill, and I used their 18 volt impact. Both of them tools, the entire project, which stretched over two weekends. I mean, Saturday and Sunday, I didn't have to charge either one of them. So, Makita batteries, you know, people might bitch about them. You know, they don't have a energy monitor to tell you how much power is left, but they are good batteries. They really are. But anyway, back to the Bosch. This is CLPK27-120 with their 12-volt max combo kit comes with the impact driver and two-speed pocket driver. Um, yeah, so this is how it comes. I just opened it to make sure nothing was damaged, but I haven't touched any tools. All right, so this is how it comes. Straight out of the box. I'm filming this in my laundry room here because my garage is just filled with with shit. So, um, let's go over the specs real quick. Okay, I'm trying to get the right lighting in here. All right, so the impact driver is 930 inch pounds of torque which is more than the Makita. The Makita is 800 inch-pounds of torque. Now, this is in the 12-volt category. The Milwaukee is 1,000 inch-pounds. So it's mid-level, a little bit closer to the Milwaukee. So that's pretty cool. So I should be able to take the blades off my mowers with this thing because I can barely do it with the Makita, um, which is 800 inch-pounds. But with the Milwaukee <clears throat> at a thousand, it breezes pretty much through it. But yeah, I'm always changing blades on my mower, so a couple times a week. But anyway, back to uh, yeah, 2600 RPM, 3100 BPM. The two speed pocket driver is 265 inch pounds of max torque. Wow, that's a lot for 12 volt drill. Yeah, so these are pretty comparable to the Milwaukee 12 volts. Um, these aren't brushless tools, just to let you know. Um, I think Milwaukee is the only one that's doing 12 volt 
brushless right now. I don't know if Bosch has gotten into that yet. They might have, though. They might have. I know Makita hasn't. I don't think DeWalt has. Uh, obviously, Rigid and Ryobi haven't. Ryobi doesn't even have a 12-volt line, but... I mean, Ryobi doesn't. Rigid does, but Ryobi doesn't. But I'll tell you, I like that. Those Rigid 12-volt um, tools. Very, very powerful. Milwaukee owns them. You know, Milwaukee, Ryobi, Rigid. So they're kind of like the little brother of Milwaukee. So they pack quite a punch, but... All right. So you get this little case with it, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like the hard cases better, but it works. It's kind of like their 18 volt little soft case. Um, not as big, obviously, but um, let's check and see what's in here. Sorry, sorry. Let's unzip this baby. All right. All right, so you get a little sleeve here, all your warranty information, your owner's manual, stuff like that. I never send in these. I never send in the warranty stuff. I know I should. You guys really should do it. I, I don't. But um, I'm gonna give you two separate ones. One for the impact driver, impact driver, and one for the drill. So read your instructions if you don't know how to work one of these. But I'm sure everybody knows how to use a drill. Oh, here's the warranty information stuff. Sure. Yep. So anyway, with Bosch, you get a three-year Pro Vantage tool protection plan. Uh, you do it online. You can do it on the phone, which is cool. So no post is necessary. Wow. So you just fill this out and put it in the thing. I might actually do this one. Because usually I have to deal with getting a stamp and all that. I don't have stamps. I do all my bills online, so... I don't have to buy a stamp or go to the post office. It's pretty easy. If it makes it easy for me to do, I'll do it. So, oh, cool. That's one cool thing for Bosch. You don't have to stop at the post office, but this is what you get. Okay, so the impact. Oh, check this out. Three LED light. That's cool. Look how bright that baby is. Ooh, man, that is some bright. I'm going to check this light out. Let me just check. Go in the garage here. All right, we see we got pitch black here. Let's see what we got. Eh, it doesn't really light up too much. You can. It actually looks better, not on camera. So I can see pretty much everything I'm pointing at here. But on the camera, it's showing pitch black. But anyway, it's pretty It's pretty good. For a 12 volt, that Makita light. I'll do a comparison on all three of these probably in a couple days. Because now that I'm looking at it, this Bosch has a big advantage over the Makita. And I love that Makita. But the, this lighting system is awesome. You only have one little light on the Makita. Um, this one, you get three. And on the Milwaukee, you just have one also. So this is cool. Yeah, comes with a pretty good charge in it. Let me see how many. What's great too, you know, Makita, you're dropping a ball. You know, this has an indicator on how much power is on it. You got two bars. So this has... A three bar, a three bar, um, you know, uh, display here. So, you know, one is low, two is medium, and three is full. You're going to get this uh, system with two, two bars. So you're pretty much ready to go out of the box for at least a couple hours. And it feels good in my hand. 
Not as good as the Makita does. And not as good as the Milwaukee. You can kind of tell by looking at it. It has a very thick handle on it. Um, let me see if it's better light here. Let's see. Sorry about this, guys. All right. So, um, this is as good as it's going to get light wise. But, um, the kit comes with, you know, the impact driver, the drill, charger, two batteries, and you're pretty much ready to go out of the box. Um, you got two bars of power, so, you, you know, you got a couple hours to go. But as you see here, the grip is kind of thick. Um, let me try to get this lighting. He's got issues with this. Let me move over here. Uh, here we go. No, it's not going to. But right there. So it has a big thick grip on it. Um you know, it doesn't feel I have small hands, so if you have big hands this will probably feel a lot better. No, it's it's good. It just has a real thick um grip to it. You know, it's probably of course because of the battery. Um Yeah, so it's good, you know, it has the Patented, you just pull out, put your bit in, let go. Um, you know, Bosch has a unique color. You know, they always have this blue and this red, which is cool. Um, it's got this rubberized, this all this black stuff here is all rubberized. So if you drop this thing, you're going to be good to go. You don't have to worry about it breaking or, you know, Messing up the plastic, cracking the plastic, and possibly getting to the little engine they got going here, the little motor. So that's cool. It feels very tough. That's the one thing. Like, you know, if you drop this thing, nothing's really going to happen to it. You know, the, the Milwaukee kind of has that feel a little bit, but the Milwaukee has a lot of plastic on it. This seems very protected, the most protected of the three. The Makita and the Milwaukee in this one. So, yeah, I like it. Not the most comfortable in my hand, but um, definitely looks the most, you know, the most durable. And it's very compact. I mean, this thing is tiny. Very tiny. Like, you can fit this thing anywhere. Wow, I like it. I definitely like it. All right, let's go to the drill. The drill is in a little compartment here. All right. There's the drill. Um, the drill is a lot lighter than the impact driver, which you would expect because the motor is not as big, doesn't have as much torque. Let's see. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Okay. The the drill does not have a power gauge on it. Wow. That's a little weird. But, yep. Yeah. All right. And you don't get the triple light either. You just get that one light on the bottom. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, so that's uh, a big difference between these two. So with the impact driver... You're getting the three LED light. You're getting a power gauge. Um, all right, you still got the rubber up top. You got the rubber grip, which is good. No power gauge. It's two speed. So you can, you know, flick it down and up. All right, so that was on slow speed. This is uh, full power. Wow. This thing is. This thing, <laughs> this is a lot more powerful than my Makita. I can tell you that. Like I said, I just did a very big project that took, you know, two full weekends, and I used the twelve volt Makita for the whole thing. That has nowhere near as as much power as this. This is two hundred sixty five inch pounds. I gotta check what the Makita is, but 
I don't know, this one feels a little bit better in my hand. This thing is so tiny, it is unbelievable. You know what? I got to get my Nikita just to show you the comparison real quick. I'll do a full comparison. This is going to be another long video, guys. I'm sorry. I'm already at 15 minutes, but I mean, look at the size of this. I mean, it's a different type of, um, you know, it's a more compact, and this is with the battery in it. You know what I'm saying? This is with the battery in the Bosch. And, I mean, it's not even close. This is heavier without the battery than this is with the battery. So, yeah, I mean, it's got some pop. I mean, this thing is ready to rock. Very impressed. I can tell you, as of right now, this, I like this. Like, I don't know how it performs yet. This is totally just based on having it in my hand and feeling the power from it. Um, it's got the same stuff. You can gauge it right here. You're going to have to trust me turning this thing because I got one hand here. And of course, I got to get a stand or something. Oh, here's turning. So right here is your, if you're going to, you know, drill. I had my Makita on the drill setting here. Right there. So this has, the Makita has 18 ranges. This has, I'm going to have to down Wow. Okay, so this has 20. 20 settings. The Makita has 18. Um, yeah, I like it. I really like it. Uh, but this nozzle is different. Now, you know, your normal drills, you have this kind of uh, setup where you just unscrew it, put your bit in, and turn it, and it tightens it up. To let it go, you turn it and it loosens it up. Um, you know, this is your normal, you know, drill setting. With this, it's kind of like an impact, uh, an impact uh, driver. As that it, there we go. Try to get to the light a little bit. You got to pull up just like your impact. Stick your bit in, and you know you're locked and loaded. But these, these see what makes this drill. A kind of like a hard, a hard drill to kind of use is you kind of got to, you're going to have to buy one fourth inch bits, a quarter inch uh, bits to get it in here, which is good is you can use, you know, these are both one quarter uh, drill bit, um, you know, they're both one quarter inch, you're going to need one quarter inch drill bits or, you know, socket adapters you know for the impact you know what whatever kind of bit you're going to use you're going to use like a spade bit you know anything like that you're going to need a one-fourth um so that's kind of you know with these you can use any size bit you kind of want you know it just, it's just gonna go smaller or bigger um you know based on you know you could put any size in there and it's going to tighten right down to 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 lock it in. Uh here's the charger. My heater's going, so I'm going to try to end this video as quick as I can. It's your normal 12 volt charger uh for Bosch. You know, I hate that each um you know, like with Milwaukee, their their charger does 12 volt charges their 12 volt and their 18 volt batteries uh of course bosch makita uh i think dewalt has a charger that does the 12 and 18 i'm not sure but um man, this lighting is just brutal but um man, 
this will have to work. But um, anyway, yeah, so I'm sorry to get off the base there, but yeah, you got to use, get to have two chargers going if you have two, you know, the Bosch is 12 volt and they're 18 volt. It's not just one charger like the Milwaukee. So that's kind of a pain, but you know, with these combo kits, they come and they're not really expensive, but you know, it could be, you know, they're not cheap, especially if you buy the 18 volt, uh, you know, their uh, chargers and stuff, but I'll show you the batteries quick. Uh, you know, the best battery on the market by far, in my mind, is Bosch. Uh, these are just another example. I've never touched one of these before, and this is so much lighter than the Milwaukee and the Makita battery. I mean, this thing is like, it's like a feather. So, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Oh, my thing finally shut off. So you get two batteries with the kit. Like I said, this usually retails for one sixty nine. It was one nineteen. Um, you know, did I need it? No. I have enough drills to last me and my kids and their kids a lifetime. But you know, that's my thing. That's my hobby. Some people collect cars and co collect uh, whatever baseball cards and records. Or whatever their hobby is, you know, drinking beer and, you know, buying all these IPAs and from different countries and stuff. But um, I like I like power tools. So I spend, I, I could have bought, you know, a couple cases of booze for a hundred bucks and drank them and they're done. They're in the toilet. You know, you piss them out and they're gone forever. But these you'll always have. But anyway, it's a great little set. Would I pay one sixty nine for it? Absolutely not. Not because it's not worth it. It's because I have enough stuff. But it was one nineteen. I love Bosch. Bosch is going to be my feature brand. Um, you know, I just got the Milwaukee coat. I'm going to do a video on that hopefully tomorrow. But if I knew I was going to get this for so cheap, I would have got the Bosch coat. Nah, I wouldn't have. Now that I think about it, because it's not a camo coat. I bought a camo hooded uh, hoodie uh, for my fall cleanups. I'm going to be outside. I work outside in the fall and the winter, so I got that. Um, I'm very happy with it. Milwaukee, I mean, all these brands are, t are really good. There's not a bad brand. You know, it's just, you know, what you prefer. And for some reason, I like, I like Bosch. I like the power that they have. I like their battery platform. and. You know, the greatest tool that I own is that's 